Hi everyone, is Anonymous Traveler from Intellectual Exercise. Last time, I have discussed on how to maximize mental and the cognitive function by using my version of a modified ketogenic diet. However, for today, I will discuss about how to maximize mental and the cognitive function by using carbohydrate-based regular diet. And I will share three very powerful tools for this purpose. I have to be honest, it's not as powerful as modified ketogenic diet, but since ketogenic diet is not for everybody, I believe this information would be useful for the people who do not follow ketogenic diet. There are many factors involved with mental and the cognitive performance. However, the biggest factor is what you eat. You can also improve mental and the cognitive performance to some degree with a certain supplement and the herbs. I will discuss some of the supplement and the herbs that are beneficial for mental performance in the future videos. Anyway, like 99% of the general public, when carbohydrate is your energy source, your mental and the cognitive performance depends on steady and even supply of glucose. However, if we look into most people's glucose level on hourly basis, it's fluctuating all the time. It spikes up very high right after each meal or snack and then falls onto the bottom only after a few hours. No wonder many of us have to depend on coffee or energy drink multiple times throughout the day just to perform reasonably at their job. If you want to bring your mental performance at its best, you need to do your part. And your part is to provide your body with long-lasting steady supply of glucose. Every form of carbohydrate break down into glucose and that's what we use as energy source as long as we don't follow ketogenic diet. Like many people know already, in order to provide long-lasting steady supply of glucose, one need to eat low glycemic index complex carbohydrate. Since many people know this already, I will mention this very briefly. Complex carbohydrate digest slower than simple carbohydrate, so they offer longer glucose supply. Also, low glycemic index food are better than high glycemic index food in terms of longer supply of glucose. And today, I will share three very simple and easy to follow method that can turn whatever food you eat into longer lasting source of glucose supply. If you eat low glycemic index complex carbohydrate already, then this strategy will bring you even longer supply of glucose. And even if your diet is not on point, this strategy will make your glucose supply at least at a reasonable level. But to maximize the mental and the cognitive performance, I suggest to eat low glycemic index complex carbohydrate and then add my strategy. 
Anyway, this strategy will be especially useful for busy people who don't have enough time and have to eat out all the time due to their complicated work schedule. So let's discuss about this strategy. This strategy is basically to turn every food into slow digesting food by adding three things to each meal. In order to slow down the carbohydrate digestion, the easiest way to do is adding soluble fiber, vinegar, and quality fat to each meal. If you add all three of them to each meal, that is the best, but even if you add just two out of those three, it's still useful to get longer supply of glucose. All these three foods that I refer here have portable versions of a supplement that you can carry around and I will share them with you as well. So my strategy is using them with each meal. But let me explain why each of the aforementioned three items are great tools to improve mental performance. Soluble fiber is great because it slows down the carbohydrate digestion. When it is combined with water, it forms a gel and delays the digestion process and therefore providing longer glucose supply. So your brain will receive energy longer. There are many food contain soluble fiber such as lentil, beans, barley, apples, citrus fruit, strawberry, rice bran, peas, seed, oatmeal, and oat bran. However, the best source of soluble fiber is psyllium husk. Yes, psyllium husk has both of a soluble and insoluble fiber and both of them are beneficial but for energy supply improvement soluble fiber is the one we should concern it can improve your energy level not only by providing longer glucose supply but also by improving your gut ecosystem. Soluble fibers like psyllium husk are prebiotic, so it gradually improves your gut microbiome. When your gut microbiome is in good shape, it improves absorption of nutrient. About 80% of your immune system is in your gut and therefore regular intake of psyllium husk improves your immune system and reduces inflammation in your body. Also psyllium husk can lower blood pressure and improve lipid levels and it helps with regularity. So it is the best source of soluble fiber in terms of energy supply improvement and overall health. It also makes you feel fuller, so it's good for diet if you want to lose weight. But psyllium husk is not easy to eat. Most people hate its texture and the taste. So they are selling it with added flavors with additional process. However, it's much better to take 100% pure psyllium husk. 
So what I recommend is psyllium husk in capsule. It is 100% pure psyllium husk and you don't need to mix it with water. You can just swallow multiple capsules with a glass of water. And since it is capsule, you can just carry them wherever you go. I will share a link to the psyllium husk capsule that I personally use. It is also non-GMO and safe to use. But make sure you start with low dose since it has the ability to swell up to 50 times its initial volume when added to liquid and could be uncomfortable when you take it too much at once. Now let's move on to the second item, vinegar. Vinegar prolongs the glucose supply by interrupting the activities of carbohydrate-related digestive enzymes. So, when you add vinegar to your meal, you will get longer supply of glucose for energy. It has other health benefits as well, such as killing harmful pathogens and improving insulin sensitivity. It also prevents sudden blood sugar spike after eating high glycemic index food. And out of all the vinegars, apple cider vinegar is the best for overall health. The best apple cider vinegar is organic, unfiltered, liquid apple cider vinegar, which contains strand of protein, enzymes, and beneficial bacteria. So if you eat at home, you can use it with each meal. But if you have to eat out or if you just cannot handle vinegar due to its taste, you can use capsules. It's not as powerful as liquid virgin, but still great for getting prolonged glucose supply after each meal. I will share links to both of liquid apple cider vinegar and its capsule version. Now, let's move on to the third item, quality fat. When you eat carbohydrate with good amount of fat, carbohydrate digestion slows down due to the delayed gastric emptying process. Carbohydrate with low fat meal will cause blood sugar spike within one hour followed by sudden drop within an hour or two, but carbohydrate with high fat meal offer up to 4 hours of steady glucose supply. Also, certain type of fats can offer additional health benefits as well. The healthiest fats are olive oil, macadamia nut oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, grass-fed ghee, which is specially clarified butter. However, you cannot carry the fat with you to add to each meal when you eat out due to work schedule. In such cases, the best item to carry around is macadamia nut. Macadamia nut is also a great source of soluble fiber and anti-inflammatory omega-7 fatty acid. Macadamia nuts soluble fiber feed gut microbiome and thus improves our immune system and on top of that it also provides 
good amount of anti-inflammatory omega-7 fatty acid and therefore reduce our baseline inflammation within our body. Like I discussed from my previous video, we are living in an era of chronic inflammation where pretty much nobody is safe from low-level chronic inflammation. Also, macadamia nut has the highest flavonoid content of all three nuts and therefore reduces inflammation and cholesterol. Also, it has high antioxidant and therefore beneficial in preventing heart disease and cellular damage. And around 80% of fat in macadamia nut is monounsaturated fat and therefore reduces cholesterol level, especially the bad cholesterol LDL level and the risk of heart disease and stroke. If we look into the nutrient profile of macadamia nut, it has 75% of quality fat and 8.6% of fiber and 8% of protein and the remaining small amount is carb. And for maximum brain performance, macadamia nut is one of the best food available for both of ketogenic dieters and non-ketogenic dieters. I will share two links to macadamia nut product. One is cheaper, but taste is somewhat bland. The other is more expensive, but roasted with sea salt with great taste. By the way, in order to maximize brain performance, we need to avoid refined and processed carbohydrate because they cause sudden blood sugar spike. The most common refined and processed carbohydrate are sugar, alcohol sugar, wheat flour, corn flour, corn syrups, white rice, fruit juices, bread, pasta, crackers, bagels, sodas, beer, cookies, candies. The less you eat them, the better for your brain. Also, you need to stay away from artificial sweeteners and MSG because they harm your gut microbiome and therefore compromise your brain function. So I just shared a strategy to improve mental and cognitive performance for non-ketogenic dieters. Thanks for listening and all the best.